What are we going to do now? I think what we're going to do, I'm going to try to work left to right because of my handedness and but this song is still going. Uh, we are going to use the Noodler's Ink because that is what we have the most of. So we're going to use that. And I'm going to go Because I do see a lot of, um, essentially this is watercolor, and I do see a lot of um, wet on wet, uh, and I wish the reason that they do that is that it kind of keeps the the paper from bowing. Uh, so we're gonna try that. So we're gonna we're gonna try that. So what we're gonna do is is we're going to um, saturate. Uh, the idea is that when when the paper is saturated, uh, that the fibers in those papers um, they they expand, and if they don't they don't have a place to go horizontally they just go out vertically and that's why wet paper tends to bow uh, this is from I think her name is dragonfly dragonfly studios uh, that's the name that's the name of the studio I don't know who the the main person is but um, Dragonfly Studios I should really look up because um, knows a lot about watercolor knows a lot about watercolor and I guess I guess I'm gonna do both sides here and I'm just going to I have no idea if this is going to work with uh, ink wash but we're going to that's why the name of this channel is KM learns to draw because we don't really know what we're doing we have an idea of what we're doing <laughs> okie dokie and what I want to do is save spare as much as I can. Um, I'm going to try to move this camera. And now we are going to talk about the bangles. I should probably put uh, this black in the center since it is the main thing that I'm going to be using. Uh, so what we're going to do is we are going to uh, for some of this we're going to saturate what we're going to paint and then we're going to apply for this because I want this as dark as possible. I don't think we're going to do very much. Um, so the Bengals are in the Super Bowl, and I don't know how I don't know how they are there, because um, I I don't I don't think the Bengals are super talented. I I think Joe Burrows is talented, the donkey, and I thought he was super talented coming out of college I, I, and I know that that's not um, there's no way to verify that but um, 
But yeah, I mean, I, what I liked about uh, Joe Burrows is his quick decision making and his quick release. And I know that he got a lot of he was because I guess he was a one year wonder. He was a transfer guy, and um, they said, "Oh well, you know, he's got." NFL receivers to throw to you know he's not he's not that good and they were really hyping up Trevor Lawrence and um, so, oh Trevor Lawrence is is the most you know talented uh, probably probably too thick of a brush to use they said, oh um uh, Trevor Lawrence is the most talented um, run quarterback coming out since Andrew Luck. I was like, I don't think he's more talented than Joe Burrows, and I I feel like that was um, uh, Urban Meyer. Like I said, I, I think I said this before. Urban Meyer deserved to get fired, but uh, I th I think that was a factor. Um, that in in Urban Meyer getting fired was there was this idea that Trevor Lawrence is going to come in and he's going to um, he's going to do what um, Justin Herbert did. And I'm like, well, that's, I don't think that's the case. I don't think he was ever that guy. Um, I think he's I think he's a good player. I, don't get me wrong. I don't think that. Um, Trevor Lawrence is is a bad player, not by any stretch. I just don't think that he's going to be the best quarterback in the NFL. Um, so they have Joe Burrows, and they have their kicker, Cincinnati Bengals, and they... Um, the, the kicker's got a little attitude. <laughs> Their kicker has, uh, I, I say a little, um, kicker's, got, kicker's got a lot of attitude. <laughs> kicker has a lot of attitude. But that's actually not a terrible thing because... Um, you have... Uh, when you have a guy that's going to come out there in... Uh, clutch situations you know he's gonna hit but I, I just think that the Bengals are such an incomplete team their defense is um, is right smack in the middle I I, I wrote it but the final four came down I, I wrote uh, I, I wrote everything here uh, passing uh, well, this is uh, d their defense was ranked 18th. Um, the turnover differential is zero. They were 16th. They were even. Um, sacks. They were 12th. Um, they were the number four seed. It's like their their defense is right smack in the middle, and. Um, you know, I think Mixon uh, is is pretty good for what what they use him for. Um, I do think that they run him to the edge, which I think runs into the strength of today's defenses. Um, I yeah, they have Jamar Chase. You know, he's okay, but I. It's okay. I, um, I, the the difference is Joe Burrows. I, I the off and and Joe Burrows is one of the most sacked guys in the league. I, I think they ended up finishing fourth um, or third, but at one point Joe Burrow was the most sacked player, most sacked quarterback in the league. And um, I, I just and I don't that offensive line hasn't gotten much better. 
Uh, even against the Titans, uh, he was sacked nine times. Um, you look at the 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 rushes that. Um, Um, the Chiefs were able to get after him. I, yeah, the, the, but I, I just think Joe Burrows is just gutsy enough. He's like, no, I don't care. I do not care. Um, this is... I'm, I'm, I'm throwing this downfield. I don't care what you say. So the idea here um, is that we're adding some flowers. I'm going to pause a little bit here because I'm going to um, preserve a spot where I can fast forward. So I'm going to. Um, gonna pause I don't know that this wet on wet technique really works for my style um, it does kind of send um, does kind of send the ink everywhere and I don't necessarily know that that's that's what I'm looking for. What do I think of chopping? I don't know. It's okay, I suppose. I mean, I can't. I could not play piano the way he does. <laughs> but... I don't know. This is a, a partial success, I will say. This is a partial success. Some things in here have worked out uh, very well. Um, other things, not so much. Not so much. Okay. Um, so we're going to move on to the city. Um, Yeah, I, I think I picked against since, uh, Cincinnati like every step of the way. I don't think there was, I don't think I took them against the Titans. I certainly did not take them against Kansas City. Um, and they just keep winning. They keep getting blown out early. And then what I thought was very interesting was listening to, to Andy Reid because the guy asked him, they said, well, what did, you only scored three points in the second half what did uh, what did the Bengals do differently and Andy Reid said well they played a little more man on second down but that was about it they didn't really they really didn't do too much that was very different and I don't know if that's just something that he was saying to protect um, you know protect his coordinators um, or if that was, because if that was the case, 
how I, I, I don't know the the Bengals I don't think they make a ton of adjustments uh, I don't think they're very strong like I said their defense is right smack in the middle of everything and and I didn't I think they were underdogs rightfully so I did not pick them to win uh, at any in any game that they played in and it, they just keep winning so the question is are they going to beat the Rams the Rams are significantly more talented and um, they I, it's a very interesting game because the Bengals have gotten uh, blown out they they the games that they have been that they've played um, they have not been in control and the Rams have but the Rams have a tendency to let teams back in it and the Bengals have a tendency to um, get back into games late and so the question then becomes um, is is that what we're going to see? Is that is that going to continue? Uh, in I, I know that's that's such a copyrighted. Um, can I can I even say Super Bowl? I don't even know if I can say that. Um. I am going to say it. Um, so is that what we're going to see in the Super Bowl? Is um, is early? Okay, chopping, chopping. You gotta. gotta take it easy on this <laughs> and I, I'm still going to take the Rams in the Super Bowl because I do feel that at some point talent has to win out. I, I just think that um, the Bengals are not that talented. I just I just don't think that you can keep um, coming from behind. I don't think that you know. You can continue to let teams get multiple score leads on you. Okay. Ch uh, Choppin, you had your chance. Um, I, I am not. I'm not gonna do that. Let's try this. All right, I don't know if that's going to be any better. It may or may not be better. That's what we are going to go with. Yeah, so I don't I do not have a lot of confidence in the Rams, but I am going to take them. I am going to take them because um I just, I just think they're more talented. They got, uh, um, I'm gonna do a little slope on this. Now, 
They got Ramsey in the secondary. They got uh, Beckham and Cup at the receiver position. Um, they got... I know a lot's been made about um, Stafford, but I mean the, the defensive line. And, and I look at the defensive line, uh, something that... Um, If you look at the defensive line over the past few Super Bowls, the New York Giants had a good defensive line, the Philadelphia Eagles had a good defensive line, um, and I and I just think that uh, with with uh, Donald and and um, Floyd and. Uh, Von Miller, I, I don't. I just against a uh, a weak a weaker Cincinnati O line. Yeah, I just. Uh, That's my that's my pick. The the Rams. Rams are gonna win. Uh, that's what they're. Not, I don't necessarily trust them. I'm not gonna say they're going to win, but uh, the Rams to win is my pick because for all the reasons stated. And now I'm just going to. Um, This would be a good spot. I think this would be a good spot to to saturate and see what um, just see what comes. Well, there's uh, there's one little little hint. Yep. Yo. Uh, I'm just going to move this around. I don't really know. Where it's gonna go, what it's gonna do. I sort of like the swirly effect. Oh, does that even show up? Let's make sure that shows up. I do kind of like the swirly effect. Uh, I know that a lot of this is going to uh, go down. Um, okay. Let's do this, and then uh, I'm going to tap, just touch, and do you think I'm going to... Something, something like that. And then um, take the same dirty cloth. Let's see what kind of effect if we get any. I don't think we really got much. So I'm just going to dab it. Just dab it. That's okay. That's an okay effect, I think. Um, it's pretty strong. I 
think we... Yeah, that's alright. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned that uh, we're not big fans of um, chopping. Uh, let us... Uh, so what did we learn today? We are we learned that we are not uh, big fans of chopping. Um, we also learned because this side was wet on wet, and we had a lot of bleeding soft edges. We weren't where this side was more um, dry, uh, wet on dry, and I think we were able to get a little bit sharper edges. I, I think this is the technique that we're going to use going forward is the wet on dry and um, painting as far as saturating a spot and then um, putting laying down some ink. We did that a bit with the sky and I think we got a, a certain effect and then uh, we just kind of dab down here which so I think that there's things that we can use um, going forward. I certainly think that Wet on dry is our preferred method. And uh, Ixnay to up and chain. Uh, I will say that um, wetting both sides. Look, look how straight this uh, this board is. And uh, like I said, this is only 30 weight. This is not super heavy uh, watercolor. Um, so I will say that that we did that. 